All right, gang, we're back with our at-home Metcon for Monday, April 26th. Five rounds today, 10 reps, four different movements. Movement number one, alternating dumbbell cleans. Shoulder width stance, dumbbell starts right between the arches of the feet. Give yourself time to get your hips down in the bottom, using that leg power to drive to the top for either a muscle clean. At the top, be sure that we're punching that elbow through and then resting that dumbbell, or at least the back head of the dumbbell on the shoulder. We'll come down to the ground, switch hands. You could also power clean these reps, which means we jump and then we get under the bell a little bit, stand tall at the top. Whatever version we use, just give yourself a little bit of time in that setup to find that flat back position. Use that leg power, keeping your arms straight as you come out of the bottom. So that bell stays close to you. It does not swing out in front. 10 reps alternating there into 10 reps of a dumbbell sit-up. Lighter weight on this movement, legs straight. We're going to start with the dumbbell right over top of the sternum and then press that dumbbell straight towards the ceiling as you sit up. Try to keep your arms locked out the whole time. At the top, really focus on that reach towards the ceiling as well as driving your head and chest through that window created by your arms. That way we use our core a little bit more. Uh, we get maximum range of motion out of that movement. After that, we've got 10 Russian kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. Start with the dumbbell a couple feet out in front of those toes. Tilt and scoop on that first rep. And then think fast hips, fast knees at the top. Get your fists up to about chin level. That's high enough. And then big flaw to stay away from on this movement. Try not to lean back at the top. Keep those ribs pulled down to your belly button. Quads tight, butt tight. That'll give you this perfectly straight up and down uh, tight spine supported core position which is what we want at the top of that swing finish up with 20 russian kettlebell twists or dumbbell twists let's go ahead and hold uh, the dumbbell one head in each hand today that'll just give you the opportunity for a little bit more range of motion heels off the ground feet and knees as close together as we can twist and look where you're tapping if we don't look, we tend to just use our arms. If we look to where those hands are going, we end up twisting that torso more, which is really what gives us that rotational core stimulus that we're looking for out of this movement. Four rounds today, 10 reps of your first three movements, 20 reps on those Russian twists. Um, pick weights that will keep you moving without having to split up any of your sets. Also, quick transitions from movement to movement. Our goal in this cycle is constant movement, building that aerobic base, not so much trying to go super heavy and having to take a lot of breaks in the middle of the workout. Time will be your score today. Good luck on today's Metcon, and we'll see you back for Tuesday's workout.